stage. A detailed analysis has now been initiated. This is what the ISRO chief has also gone on to mention. He's going on record talking about this analysis that is currently being done to understand what this anomaly really was all about. Remember, this happened during the end of the PS3 stage. This is the first mission of ISRO in this new year, 2026. The PSLV C-62 mission that has encountered some sort of a disruption and anomaly at the end of PS3 stage. Now, a detailed investigation and analysis is currently being conducted. We are, in fact, looking at this particular story uh, with, uh, in fact, all the details that we will try and access for all of you as we are learning of uh, Anvesha satellite on PSLV C-62. That has uh, encountered an anomaly at the PS3 stage. And uh, the ISRO chief has now, in fact, uh, mentioned about how they are analyzing what really has gone wrong. So the Indian Space Research Organization has launched the EOS N1 Anvesha satellite to space. And this is aboard the PSLV C-62 mission. This happened earlier today. And now we seem to uh, have uh, learned of some sort of an anomaly at the PS3 stage. My uh, colleague, Shrishi, with all those details, uh, Shrishi, even the ISRO chief is uh, talking about how detailed an analysis is currently being conducted. But anything that you're learning of on what possibly has resulted in this disruption? Uh, yes, good morning, Griha. So uh, as we all uh, saw on the screens, the liftoff was smooth. Uh, the rocket lifted off seamlessly uh, from the first launch pilot Harikota. Everything was going well until uh, a few minutes after that. Uh, according to the ISRO chairman, uh, Dr. V. Narayan, there was some issue with the third stage of the vehicle. He said that everything was going on as expected until the end of the third stage, which is when they detected some kind of anomaly, some kind of disturbance in the vehicle, and after which uh, they, uh, I mean, subsequently the uh, rocket path deviated and uh, it seems that the liftoff, uh, the, the entire launch mission could not uh, complete, could not be completed and uh, was unsuccessful. But we'll wait for the confirmation from the space agency. Now, now the background here is that uh, the polar satellite launch vehicle is ISRO's workhorse. Mm -hmm. It is ISRO's most dependable rocket and uh, it has completed over 60 flights in the past few decades, and this was the 64th flight of the PSLV. But uh, if you remember last May also, uh, when there was a mission, uh, is, uh, PSLV had issued, had some issues with the third stage, which is, you know, uh, a few minutes after the launch. And again, the launch could not be uh, completed on time. And again, so the same, probably, you know, it, it's very uh, difficult for us to say as of now, but yes, it seems like the same issue during the third stage has cropped up again during this mission. Now, okay. it was a high-stake mission considering it was launching Earth Observation Satellite, which was, you know, developed by DRDO. It was a hyper-spectral Earth mm. Observation Satellite. And apart from that, there was a collaboration with the NSIL because there were 15 other uh, passenger co-satellites, uh, uh, co some from the Indian startups and some were from the other countries, including one by collaboration of uh, UK and Thailand. There was another tech demonstration by uh, uh, Spanish a scientist as well. So it was definitely a high stakes mission and it comes as a huge disappointment for the space agency, which was really looking forward to this mission. Uh, and this was uh, 2026 first mission and was uh, uh, there was a lot counting on uh, the Indian Space Research Organization to make this uh, to make this launch a successful one. But as the mm -hmm. ISRO chairman said that they're analyzing the data and they will come out with uh, uh, some kind of a statement, uh, some kind of analysis a little later on. Uh, but uh, as of now, it seems very disappointing that uh, ISRO's most dependable rocket, PSLV, could not complete this mission. So ISRO will definitely do the fact-finding, realize mm -hmm. what the mistakes were, and uh, come out with a statement uh, shortly. So we'll be waiting for that, and we'll update you. Right, absolutely, Shruti. Thank you so much for all of those details. Uh, some sort of a disappointment there as uh, this mission could not be completed. We are still waiting for further analysis on this big story that we continue to track here on CNN News 18. But right